Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the standard form of quadratic equations. Mayroon tayong mga videos about quadratic equations for the past few days wherein we talked about how to solve quadratic equations. And itong video na to, or, or itong topic na to, is actually uploaded na, matagal na, pero I want to rebump our video when it comes to standard form of quadratic equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. By the way guys, this is the standard form of any quadratic equations. We have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And we have here three different equations wherein we need to convert or rewrite this into this form. And after that, we will identify the value of a, b, and c. So let us now transform first these three equations in standard form. So we have here these three equations in st that we need to rewrite in standard form. In number 1, we have 8x is equal to 9 minus 5x squared. So as you can see guys, in this pattern, all of the terms, the quadratic, the linear, and the constant term are all on the left side of the equation. And on the other side of the equation, we have 0. So, you like what I'm saying to you need to imagine that this one is the center of the equation. We have the left and the right part of the equation. So here, the problem here is that your constant term and the quadratic term are not in the perfect place to follow the standard form. Meaning, we need to transfer these two terms to the other side of the equation. So dito, tuturo ko na sa inyo yung shortcut. Okay? Here, we will transpose negative 5x squared to the other side of the equation. I will do it one by one. Huh? So we have transfer or transpose. Again, transpose negative 5x squared. Remember guys, when you are transposing a term in an equation, you need to change the sign. If this is negative, it will become positive. So it goes like this. We have 5x squared plus 8x is equal to 9. As you can see, after transposing negative 5x squared to the other side of the equation, it became positive. And look at the arrangement. Our quadratic term is already placed on the left side of the equation. So the problem na lang natin is yung 9 natin. After that, we will transpose 9 to the other side of the equation. So what we have here is 5 x squared plus 8x from positive 9, it will become negative 9 and then equal to 0. And as you can see guys, this equation 5x squared plus 8x minus 9 is already in standard form. So we can declare that this one is the final answer. And later on, we will identify the value of a, b, and c. Actually, Pwede natin ipagsabay si negative 5x squared sa kasi 9 sa pagtatranspose pero inisaysa ko lang para masanay kayo in transposing a term. So let's continue. In number 2, we have 4x squared is equal to 5 plus 12x. Here, the quadratic term is in good place or position. The problem here are the linear term and the constant term. So we will transpose it. Pagsabayin na natin sila. Transpose this and transpose this to the other side of the equation. First, we will copy 4x squared. And then, we will transpose 12x because what comes next after the quadratic term is the linear term. From positive 12x, it will become negative 12x. So, bakit mo naging negative? Yun yung ginagawa natin when we are transposing the term. Binabago natin yung kanyang original sign. Next, after that, we will transpose positive 5 to the other side of the equation. From positive, it will become minus 5, then equal to 0. So, as you can see, 4x squared minus 12x minus 5 is already in standard form. So, we will box this one and declare as our final answer. So, let's move on with number 3. For number 3, so what we have here is that these two terms, we need to transpose it to the other side of the equation. Transpose natin, transpose natin sa kabila. 
Copy natin to. Yung x squared, rearrange natin ha. As you can see, nauna si 9x. Supposedly, dapat si quadratic term. So we will rearrange this. It will become x squared. Then copy your 9x plus 9x. This, negative, this positive x, transpose, transpose it to the other side. It will become negative x. Then your positive 8 will become minus 8 is equal to 0. In this case, we're not yet done, guys. Because we can still combine these two terms. We have 9x minus x. And that would give you the answer of 8x. Then copy your x squared. Then minus 8 is equal to 0. And that's it. This is our final answer. So what we need to do now is to go or go back to the given table. So here's a given table, guys. Okay. Let's see. In number one, the standard form is 5x squared. Okay. Here's the answer. Plus 8x minus 9 is equal to 0. The value of a in this equation is 5. Here's your a. Your b is 8. Your c or constant is negative 9. In number 2, we have 4x squared minus 12x minus 5. So, lagay natin dito. 4x squared minus 12x minus 5 is equal to 0. The value of a is 4. The value of b is negative 12. The value of c is negative 5. And that's it, guys. Punta naman natin yung number 3. Number 3, we have x squared plus 8x minus 8 is equal to 0. Let us identify the value of a, b, and c. Here, in your first term, you, ha you only have x squared. But, there's an invisible one here. That's why the value of a is 1. Your b is 8. Your c is negative 8. So, that's it guys. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa ating video on how to get the standard form of any quadratic equation as well as identifying the value of your coefficient a, b, and c. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!